So this is the basement and it's where all the overstock is. There's a ton of stuff down here. Let's go check it out. Oh wait, do I do the light on? Wait, how do I do it? <laughs> So my name is Chris Dupuy. I'm the owner of Toronto's newest retro video game store, Moonshine Gaming, located in South Etobicoke, right on the corner of Royal York and Lakeshore. So I've been a collector my whole life. I've been operating online for 10 years as well. So we've been doing the online thing since, I think it was 2010. But it was always a part-time thing. I used to be a full-time DJ. COVID shut down all the bars and I didn't want to have to rely on the checks coming from the government because we didn't know what was happening at that point, right? I took one of those checks and then I turned my side business, which was selling video games, into my full-time business. Before I opened the store, I had over 6,000 games in my personal collection. And I, and I wanna say I pulled like 50% of that to put it into the store, just to ensure that I had really good inventory. Um, but I also collected in a way, knowing that I was gonna open a store eventually. So this stuff is all inventory that hasn't been processed. This wall is everything that's listed on our online store uh, that doesn't really work up in the store. Back here is our shipping and packing station. So we have some of the stuff that's sold over the weekend here that's ready to get packed up and ship out on Monday. Getting young, young kids and young people into retro gaming has been the most satisfying thing. Probably there's a lot of schools around this area and the kids come in and I've gotten quite a few of them into the retro gaming scene, which has been probably the most rewarding thing. If kids come in, they can, you know, use the McDonald's kiosk that was in the McDonald's in the nineties. We have the arcade set up at the front. On top of that, we have this display behind me. That was a big showpiece that I decided to do. It's a picture wall. You remember the song thrift shop? Yeah. So when that song came out, you know, reselling kind of became more popular and going to thrift stores became more popular. So a lot of people got into the reselling space at that point and that was kind of the first boom of like people getting into retro gaming. The second boom was COVID because when COVID happened, everyone was stuck at home and they were trying to relive their childhoods. So then there was a massive spike in uh, video game prices. I think physical collecting and physical media is going to be is, is kind of here to stay. People like being able to hold a product in their hand, you know, look at the artwork and stuff like that. There's always going to be a physical market. There's always going to be collectors who want to collect physical. So if anything, I see it growing. <laughs>